As a boy, I really enjoyed the DreamWorks animated movie, The Prince of Egypt. For those who haven't seen it, it's a compelling rendition of the story of Moses. To this day, I can vividly remember the Passover scene. God intends to punish the Egyptians for holding his people as slaves and instructs the Israelites to paint their doorposts with the blood of a lamb. That night, the angel of death, represented visually in the film by a shining white mist, descends on the city and moves silently through the streets, killing the firstborn of every Egyptian family. Whenever it comes to a house with a lamb's blood on its doorposts, however, it passes over to the next house. To this day, Jews celebrate Passover annually in memory of what God did for them in Egypt. Lesson six in the way of Christ is on the Paschal mystery. The Paschal mystery is Jesus' passion, death, resurrection and ascension, which saves us from our sins and offers us redemption. The Jewish Passover meal is a type of the Paschal mystery. In biblical theology, a type refers to an Old Testament personage, action or event, which finds its fulfillment in the life and mission of Jesus. As the Catechism of the Catholic Church puts it, the Church, as early as apostolic times and then constantly in her tradition, has illuminated the unity of the divine plan in the two testaments through typology, which discerns in God's works of the old covenant prefigurations of what he accomplished in the fullness of time in the person of his incarnate son. Typology indicates the dynamic movement toward the fulfillment of the divine plan when God will be everything to everyone. Now, this is in harmony with Jesus' own words in the Gospel of Matthew, where he says, think not I have come to abolish the law and the prophets, I have come not to abolish them, but to fulfill them. So then, Jesus' paschal mystery fulfills the Passover. But how exactly? Well, the book of Exodus stipulates that the Passover lamb must be an unblemished male. Jesus is a male, and he is unblemished by sin. He's in fact the new lamb. This is why we call him the lamb of God during the mass. Just as the blood of the Passover lamb saved the Israelites from the angel of death, so Jesus saves us from the spiritual death of sin by shedding his blood on the cross. The Passover ushered in a new era of freedom for the Israelites. In the same way, the Paschal mystery, Jesus' passion, death, resurrection, and ascension to the Father where he intercedes for us now, brings us freedom from sin and death. This brings me to my final point. While the Passover scene in Prince of Egypt is extremely well done, it fails to include a key part of the Passover celebration, the meal. The Jews didn't only use the lamb to paint the doorposts with its blood, they ate the lamb. God required this. Exodus chapter 12 reads, then they shall take some of the blood and put it on the two doorposts and the lintel of the houses in which they eat them. They shall eat the flesh that night roasted with unleavened bread and bitter herbs they shall eat it. It is the Lord's Passover. Now here's the important point. The Mass makes present the Paschal mystery of Christ, and as such, it is the new Passover. This is why the sacrifice of the Mass is so important in the Catholic life. When Jesus and his disciples were together at the Last Supper and Jesus instituted the Mass, it was the Passover they were celebrating. Jesus wanted to show them that he was the new Lamb, the Lamb of God. That's why he gave them his body to eat. Just as the Jewish Passover saved the Israelites from the angel of death, so now this new Passover, if we are open to the graces it affords, is constantly saving us from sin and bringing us closer to Christ. I'm Bishop Joseph Strickland. Thank you so much for viewing this episode of The Way of Christ is an excellent resource for growing in your Catholic faith, for deepening your life in Jesus Christ. You can purchase your own copy of The Way of Christ at stphilipinstitute.org slash store. God bless you, and let us continue to grow in his light.